Hello Lolos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new to this channel, I hope that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you have not joined the chat box, the link is in the description bar. You do have to be at least 18 years old. It is $1.99 to join. If you're not following me on my blog, please follow me at MrReneeSmithBabies.com. And also my Instagram is Miss Serenity underscore Smith. Now that we've got all that past us, and I'm getting really good at this, going really fast, getting it out of the way, I have Paris Millmore here. Paris Millmore is my oldest doll in my collection. She is one of the very first dolls that I collected when I started. She is my very first, um, no, she's not my first custom. She is my second custom. Um, the first custom that I had name was Journey. She was released by Natalie Blick. And um, she was painted by Tierra Venter. This one was painted, Paris Mirror Moore was painted by Yogi, y Yolanda Boy Glover. And she was a magical baby. Um, the magic started with Paris, to be honest. Um, so I've had her, like I said, it's almost nine years. And I just want to talk about some things as I get her dressed. I don't think this diaper is big enough that I had. I was going to put her on this diaper, but we'll see. Um, so let's let's get Paris dressed, undress. Her hair is a mess, but we're going to fix that. Um, so I'm going to get her completely undressed here first. And the reason why I have this paintbrush here is because this is what I'll use like a plain, like just dry never use brush to get in the corners of the eyes to get in their nose to get dust out inside their ears it's it it looks crazy and and stupid but it, it works it that's all you need all right so i almost forget that paris has a tummy plate um it's anatomically correct so i won't be able to, i have to i do have to just switch her diaper out um before i can't just leave her without her diaper on because it is anatomically correct um one thing i want to say and this is why I, I brought paris on i see a lot of stuff in the in the forums and i read a lot of stuff about you know taking care of your babies how to make them last forever um so on and so forth and um i want to say that paris me more is exactly the same way as when i first got her um like I said, her hair is a mess, but I can straighten that out. Um, it's just that she I haven't combed it in a while. But let me say this. Um, first, let me say she's on a three. She has three-fourth arms. She had three-fourth legs, but her legs are so long. I changed her body after a couple years. I finally built up the courage to change her body. And I kept her waiting pretty much almost exactly the same and her contents the same as what um yogi had in her i think i'm yeah and so she's pretty much the same but i changed her body to give her full legs but um okay so let's let's talk about this um i i hear a lot of things about well if you want the dolls to last you need to do this you need to do that i've never laid her on a satin pillow she still hasn't lost any hair, even though her hair seems to be tangly and stuff because, of course, Yogi was also more new. I mean, not new, but, you know, she wasn't as good as she is now with her rooting. So her rooting is a little, you know, a, a little pluggy and a little is not directionally rooted. Um, but, I mean, like I said, that was years ago. Of course, her rooting is not, not the same today. Or at least the last baby that I had purchased from her was not. Um, so, um, and even so, and sometimes I have to do a little, you know, a little bit more combing in it to get it under control or whatever. She is still not lost her hair. She still got a full head of hair. Like I said, she still has a full head of hair. Um, yes, she's had hats on for six months to a year at a time. That's not pulled her hair out. A lot of these things that we hear, I think they're isolated incidents. Um, I think 
once it happened and someone talks about that it happened to them, then they begin to feel like this is the norm. But it's not really the norm. Um, now, Baby Blessing I've had for four years and his hair is like more sparsely rooted, more fine, more soft hair. He still has all his hair as well. Same thing. I don't put, you know, I don't put stuff. Hold on. Sorry. My daughter's calling, so I gotta make sure she's. Okay. So, um. But yeah, so. You know, a lot of this stuff is just depending on how the, the doll is made and stuff like that. And how the rooting is, how it's glued in, and I, I don't know. But I haven't had the issues that a lot of people say. I think a lot of stuff just scare collectors a lot that's unnecessary. Um, you have to do this, you have to do that. I'm not saying that, you know, maybe by that particular artist to upkeep their work you got to do those things but i just haven't as a whole had those issues with my with my babies even like with silicone they talk about how you know silicone will lose hair over time and some of them do it depends on this mohair and how deep you root and all that stuff and i'm not an expert on it all yet but i know some of the people like for instance i've seen you know claire teller silicone babies after six seven years and still have the original rooting and haven't lost a strand that's noticeable. It would be crazy for me to say it hasn't lost a strand because of course it's lost a strand. But not nothing that's noticeable to where it's a patch or anything like that. So, but I will say this. Paris is very textured. This was the first time Yogi was like really experiment with heavy texture. And she knew that I um, dressed my babies a lot. I wanted to dress her, that I would be dressing her a lot. So she told me, she said, I put extra texture on her because I know you like to dress your babies. I can appreciate that in artists. Um, and so Paris, me, I'm more my heart is beating. <laughs> I still love her so much. Um, Paris, me, more her painting is still you know the texture is nice and she's holding up I love texture um I am very nervous with the thin texture I've been doing it a little bit on some of my babies but the more I think about it the more I think I should stick to my original texture the way that I texture because it just to me it 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 holds the paint in more and she does have veining and she has lots of maudlin. Um, she's actually one of my best babies. Even babies after I got babies from Yogi afterwards. I still loved her. There was only one thing. And me and Yogi talked about it. Was that she had wished that she had not tipped her nails as white. I could have went in and changed that um, way long years ago. But I will not touch this artist's work. Because... I want to keep her as she was because I love her and I have that much respect for the artist and I don't want to feel like I'm so great that I should go over her work. Now, I'm not saying that that's wrong when people do do that. Some people do it for their own comfort and it's your business. But for me, I want to keep her in her original state. Um... I used to dress this baby so much, like three times a day. <laughs> In the morning before I go to work, I would do a video. Sometime I would, if I was at home, well, two times a day at least. Sometime three day, times a day. Like in the, when the weekend come, I would dress her midday and then I would turn around and dress her for night. She would always go into pajamas at night. Um, it's just... And she's, she's not lost any paint. Um, I'll be honest, her painting to me is just as beautiful as some of my babies.
that's been painted today. Um, I wouldn't change anything about her painting even today. Um, it's still my style. I love her. Oh, these pants fit you so good, Paris. I love her. I love her. Um, I am in love with so many other artists' work. And despite everything that has went on in this community and things that I don't talk about and I won't talk about, um, Paris is the one baby that I separate anything. There, uh, My feelings for Paris is just my feelings for Paris. She's been in my collection forever and I've always loved her. Um, I love the paint this hair right here is painted and then she kind of rooted the hair to kind of that it will kind of blend into the painted hair but my second daughter the same one that i say that the millie sculpt remind me of um paris doesn't look like her but she's kind of painted in a way that reminds me of her with the um how hairy her forehead is and stuff. My my daughter was so extremely hairy and she had hair just running down into her forehead. Like you couldn't tell where her, um, you couldn't tell where her eyebrows connect from her forehead hair. Like you was like, I mean, which, where it separated. Like it was just, she just, you know, that's how it was. I'll have to do her hair off camera but I'm just gonna do a little bit so you guys can see it will rejuvenate and go back to just as when I got her when I brushed through it um it's not that hard to do but yeah her hair is like thick and it's full and it's not perfect but it's perfect enough for me um still and I, I I just love I still love her um but she also is also a reminder to me that these dolls will last as long as we keep them um I am not I mean I, I will say I am not a, one of those mommies that you know put my babies in swimming pools and you know um Put, putting on them and all kinds of stuff like that. I don't do all that stuff. I also don't dress my babies in strong colors unless they have something underneath them, which leads me to rarely even do it because I don't feel like double dressing the baby just for them to wear a particular outfit. So that may have preserved some of my babies a lot longer. Um, I don't comb in their hair every single day. Even though I dressed her every day, I didn't always comb her hair every day. Um, oh, this headband is fairly tight, which is nice because usually I always be like, gosh, why do they put such a big headband for a little baby? So it's nice that this one is not, but, um, so yeah, so there's, there's Paris and I, I do have her out now where you can see her when I walk into the room, um, I've been saying for years that I'm going to start back showing her more and dressing her more. I got to put her more earrings in her ear because, you know, she's had to lend them to siblings. But, yeah. So, this is this is Paris Man More. This is what almost nine years look like. She came to me in probably like 2013 or so. So... Yeah, and we're going into 2022, so she's eight years old, going on her ninth year, and this is what it looks like. So, um, I, I think, you know, she still takes her magnet pacifier, which I don't have a pacifier over here for her, but she's, she's still the one. Um, she still makes my heart sing. I, I love her. Um, but that's it. So... Take care of your babies. Um, stop buying into all this extra stuff. Oh, you got to do this. Oh, you got to do that. If you don't do this, the dog's going to lose all this and all this and stuff. And I just, it's, it's not necessarily always true for every baby. 
So enjoy your dolls. Enjoy them. They can last. They can last for a long time. Paris Mia Moore is proof of that. She's proof of that. So that is it. And that's a three to six month size outfit. I love this outfit. I wish I find another one. This is nice. I think um, Phoebe would have been able to fit this actually. But I I rather see it on on um, Paris, so because the seat that she's about to sit in it will match nicely. All right, that's it. <laughs>